it is good news. These are regions that are exploding. And with the, the, the landing of undersea cables all over places like Africa, you've got all kinds of, uh, all kinds of opportunities. The Invenio speaker from this morning was talking about bandwidth. Bandwidth is jumping up dramatically all across the continent. And there are an awful lot of new applicants, new, new people who are going to be able to take advantage of things like e-commerce. So we all have a, have a, a really expanded window into, uh, into consumers you know, in, in some of these new markets. The challenge is the GTLD process and the internet more broadly are really not the same thing. The internet more broadly is going great. The GTLD process really has not reached a huge part of the world. And I think it's a big problem for us as a community. Uh, the fact that we, we, we all benefit substantially from the fact that there is one internet and that we can find customers and friends and we can provide security, right, across the spectrum. If we fragment, if people feel that they're off the map, that is a risk to our system. It's also a risk to our governance system. And it is clear to me that one of the big things that has happened over the course of this process is that we as a community and ICANN specifically really dropped the ball. People won't participate in a program that they don't know exists, number one. And number two, if they need more time to get into the program and they have three months or whatever it is, they're not going to do it. The fact that there were 17 applications from Africa is better, I suppose, than none. But it's a, it's a paltry amount considering the amount of growth that we're seeing on the, on, on the horizon and the number of threats that we're facing, the economic opportunities and all of that kind of thing. So I think we, it's, we, we, we miss it at our peril. Three misses in my mind. First, just Africa generally missed out. There were just so few names in a continent that is exploding economically. Second of all, in the community space, there are a tremendous number of communities, the Quechua, the Roma, the Hausa, the Maori, who could really benefit from this. And there was a real expect expectation that they would pick this up. Didn't happen, and it didn't happen in part because of the structure of the program, I think. Third, the regional business outside of Asia, IDNs in the Arabic speaking world, for example, really a miss. We want those people to be part of our, you know, part of our inter unitary internet. 